Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at Rivian. Great news. Rivian has launched Proudly Made in Georgia, a new website aimed at local interested in the Rivian plans and vision for Georgia. It includes fresh concept images of the future site, offering an inside preview of what's to come. This is brilliant. Just looking at these photos alone has me excited for the Rivian company. I really appreciate the vision of what Rivian is trying to create. You know, it has this Apple campus vibe, which is really incredible. This is a brilliant strategy by Rivian because, you know, um, Apple campus is not just a place for work. It's now a place that Apple fans are fascinated with. And I would love to see Rivian do something similar. And I think they're about to do that with a, with a Georgia campus. It's one of Rivian's most ambitious projects because it's going to help them propel this business into the stratosphere. And from here, the sky's limit for Rivian, to be honest, you know, just looking at other images, you know, working area. These are just concept images for Rivian, but I really like what I'm seeing here. And obviously this is an aerial view of the Rivian factory. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And you know, I'm not changing my opinion on Rivian and the design of current factories. No other companies are doing um, factories like Tesla. And I'd like to see companies do factories like Tesla. Tesla creates gigafactories all under one roof. And I think it's, I think it's more efficient. I think these factories are run more efficiently. I could be wrong, but of course Rivian is doing something slightly different and that's not a bad thing. In fact, if anything, this is a positive move for Rivian. This is how Tesla started. The Gigafactory for Tesla was something that came later. It was something that they thought we were aiming for efficiency and to be the most efficient company on earth in terms of making electric vehicles. They decided to move everything under one roof. And, you know, other automakers are not really following this Tesla um, approach. <clears throat> and here's a visual of the Rivian's campus that will be in Georgia. They're, they're taking their own, their own strategy. They're going into their own path. And that's not a bad thing. I'm still excited for Rivian. I'm still looking forward to this. Now that I can see this, it's like, I would love to visit this space. I'd love to visit this, this factory. Hopefully I get to someday. Hopefully I do. By the way, I'm getting these reports from Rivian updates. Check out their Twitter account. It's really amazing. They've got some of the best updates for Rivians out there. Like I said, check out their Twitter account. I think he has a YouTube channel as well. You know, really brilliant stuff. Um, he makes great Rivian videos, by the way. And I just wish he made more Rivian videos, if I'm being completely honest, because um, his videos are really insightful. You know, it's really great stuff. So let's check it out. This is the website in question. You know, um, it looks like it's a, it's just a new web page of the current Rivian's uh, website. It looks like it has its own domain. You know, they've got a video to show us and we're going to check out that video and see what what's um, embedded into this website. What makes this website different from the current Rivian's website? But here's where it gets even more positive. So how many jobs could this potentially create? 7.5 thousand jobs plus 7.5 thousand plus jobs. Georgia community economy growth in 7.3 billion. This is in a positive financial impact. Georgia production, up to 400,000 plus vehicles made annually. It's not gonna be immediate. They're gonna take some time to ramp up, but at full production, this is what they're aiming to accomplish, which means that personally, they're probably, these numbers are probably a little bit under the estimate. You know, the, the, these numbers are probably quite modest for Rivian. In, in actual annual production, it's probably 450 or even 500, but they probably just leave it at 400. Under promise, over deliver. I'm just, I'm just thinking retrospectively. Under promise, over deliver. Here's another video that we have. Imagine a better future. I wonder if this is the same video. It's, it's not the same. It's a different video. I love the Rivian design. I really do. This is what I mean. This thing looks like an Apple campus. I think in terms of optimization, Rivian will continue to utilize the space to optimize, to, to, to improve growth and to improve the numbers that we just discussed is probably the first couple of years estimates, you know, but long term, five, 10 years down the line, this factory will be a more impactful business space for Rivian. We can only imagine in terms of growth, this factory potential is really unlimited, to be honest. And based on the plans, based on the land, it looks like they might be able to expand, you know, 
not to mention the amount of jobs that they'll be able to provide to people. And I'm guessing they chose this area because they know there's a lot of people who could work in this factory. You know, there has to be a great number of people who are willing to work in this factory and for this company. One hour east of Atlanta? Of course, because Atlanta is in Georgia. What was I thinking? That's a bit of a travel. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, if, if they're going to get a lot of people working from, from Atlanta, but... Because if you look at California, sometimes I hear that people can be commuting to and from work and it can be a long time, a really long time. So I don't know if in America, if it's considered normal to like drive one hour to work. It might be. It might be because when I'm driving to work, sometimes I might drive half an hour to 40 minutes, you know, add another 20 minutes. That's an hour. So it might not be as crazy as you think. I know this is off topic, but every time, every time I think about Rivian, I just think that Apple is going to buy this company. <laughs> eventually i'm just like apple has to buy this company because especially now that they've given up on their own electric vehicle i'm just like wow this is just the perfect business just just awaiting a, a, a great partner who has a lot of funds who's better to run and to help this business to operate i think an apple and rivian partnership would perhaps be the most perfect ecosystem that you could ever imagine so plus 5 billion US dollars investment in the plant, 16 million plus square meters of space, 400,000 plus EVs to be produced per year. 400,000 plus. This is, this is what I'm talking about. I'll always reiterate, Rivian is a brilliant company and what they're doing is absolutely brilliant. I don't think this company will be short on investments. Currently, you might be thinking, well, they're running out of cash, you know, but... I think with the recent updates that they've um, had on their existing factory, I believe it's in normal Illinois, I think with the upgrades and uh, the site improvements, I think that would be a huge positive for Rivian, you know, in terms of numbers, manufacturing vehicles on an annual basis, but also in terms of profitability. They'll probably spend less and make more, you know, so it's a long-term investment. So what I see is a company that's actively optimizing to improve the business overall, gradually. This is brilliant. What I also noticed in this image was on the map, there is railway lines, you know, that, that go straight into the campus. This is brilliant because I remember looking at the Tesla shuttles in, um, I think it's in Germany. So if this is a way for employees to get to work, this is brilliant. And what if it's a what if it's a train that's on time that could get them to work on time, also get them home on time more efficiently? I think this is brilliant thinking by Rivian. Truly, truly brilliant thinking. The the one criticism I think I had with this plan, and I think others also had this criticism as well. I believe this this land or this this building is is lease. With Rivian, I think it's almost like a lease agreement. I don't think Rivian is the sole owner of this space, of this factory. I could be wrong. I do apologize if I am wrong. But Rivian lands 1,800 acres in Georgia. 5 billion EV plant coming soon. Well, I can't get this article because it's. it looks like it's, it's I can't get this article. So that's that's unfortunate. But if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a joint ownership between Rivian and um, and another entity, that entity, um, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about, but I might make another video explaining that a little bit more, but hopefully it's not too, hopefully it doesn't create any friction. Hopefully it doesn't create any problem. Hopefully this, this business decision by Rivian, it doesn't create any problem within their organization. And I don't think it should. I really don't think it should. I don't think Rivian would have made that decision if there could have been any friction or problems going down the line i think it would be bad business for both partners that's where i'll end this video thank you for watching subscribe to see more leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you in our next video peace rivian's apple campus i like the idea come on now